Hey guys, welcome to my fourth episode of my TurboGrafx-16 Complete Collection Journal. First of all, I would like to apologize to everyone. Sorry it's been two and a half months since I've released anything or gave you guys an update, but I've just been so super busy. Uh, I got a new position in my job and I was in training and then um, I've been working really hard on my first feature film, which is a documentary I'm doing on a former athlete named Jasper Saints, and that's been just been really time consuming outside of my job, and my kids, and my wife, and family, and stuff. But uh, no more excuses, guys. I'm finally got had time. Uh, but before I get into my uh, collection and my pickups, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to a multi tap guy, and he was willing to drop a promo video here. So you guys check it out. This is uh, Jay Hicks, aka the Dolly Popka. Hello. My name's Jay, or you might know me on the interwebs as the Dolly Popka, but not Phil. I honestly don't know where the Phil thing came from. I just... Anyway, on the YouTubes I have a show which is called Viridian Flashback. It's essentially a review slash collector's guide for the original Xbox. You know, that big green machine that a lot of people ignored unless it was Halo. Anyway, I've covered a few exclusive games as well as games that have been on all systems, but the Xbox version usually tends to be the best one, with either superior graphics or little bonuses thrown in. A couple of games I've reviewed that people may or may not have heard of are Phantom Dust, um, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, that was with a couple of multi-tap guys, uh, most recently Robin Hood Defender of the Crown, with uh, another couple of multi-tap guys, Benevolent Dick and Matt Ezero, otherwise known as the LJN Defender. On the Multitap channel, I actually did a four-part special called Sex Box, which is uh, talking about a couple of games that the M rating was more of a sexual nature than a violence or bad language or anything like that type of thing. So that was a big hit. And as far as the future goes, I'll probably do more specials. Um, trying to do other projects as well that aren't Xbox related, but we'll see. Uh, other than that, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. I love to hear from you guys. Um, and special thanks to Will for shouting me out in this video. So, uh, back to you. <laughs> see ya. Well, thanks for the video, Hicks, aka Popka. Guys, check out his channel. You know, he, he's really into the Xbox, but even if you're not an Xbox guy, you're thinking about picking one because you're a retro gamer and you eventually want to get all consoles, check it out because you never know when you will get into that Xbox phase. Uh, I know the Xbox is not as popular right now with retro gamers, but you never know. You may want to get one. You may see one in the, in the flea market for 20 bucks and just be like, hey, let me just check it out and then you want to check out the pockets reviews on some of the games he want to recommend or games he want to tell you to stay away from. So y'all stay tuned. I got more multi tap guys coming up. But uh, let's start off uh, before, well, I already said before I get in my collection, but I wanted to share two things with you guys before I get into the collection. And I do want to share that I, I picked up a, a Turbo Express finally. I got it from a guy on the TurboGrafx-16 and PC Engine group on Facebook. Uh, his name was David Johnson. Uh, he had already recapped it, so the, the audio is great. Picture quality is awesome on it. Um, he also uh, region modded it for me, which is something I did request for him, so he added a little bit more to it. But guys, I got this so way much cheaper than eBay, and I do want to recommend David Johnson if you already have an Express or you're looking into getting one. Uh, he recapped it for me, region modded, it's awesome, so the PC Engine games I can take on the go with me as well as the TurboGrafx-16. Guys, uh, I'll put his uh, website and everything down below. Uh, check him out, man. He's a really awesome guy, easy to communicate with. Anytime I message him, he responded within like 20 minutes, so check out David Johnson. And uh, next, I also picked up another CD game. Uh, I'm not going for a complete CD uh, collection yet, you know, for the TurboGrafx-16. Um, really, I'm just trying to get all the Hue cards first, and then maybe I'll go back and decide if I want to go for the CDs or not. But for right now, I'm just going for a Hue card. Finally got Yee's Book 1 and 2, which is really cool. Haven't played it yet. Uh, I'm not a big RPG guy, but I will try to spend some time with it. Uh, or Ease, is it? Yeah, I believe it's called Ease. Okay, so like now let's get on to the to the pickups of the of the collection. Last time I left you guys with 44, so I was three away from the halfway mark. And before I even get started, yes, I went over the halfway mark, so that's a good thing, good news. So let's see where I left off at, and uh, or let's see where I picked up at. Here we go. Well, let's get into this. Uh, the first two games, uh, I haven't played them yet. I didn't even check them out, so I won't even put up no footage. I'll just 
kind of just just skim through them real quick. Uh, the first one I picked up was uh, Crater Maze. Haven't played it yet, so I don't know what it's about. I really I have no, no idea what this game is. Uh, so eventually I'll get around to checking it out. And I also picked up Silent Debuggers. Uh, I believe Michael B. The Game Genie said this was a pretty cool game. I don't know, as I said, I haven't played either of these first two games. So I'm just going to move on. Uh, the game that got me at the halfway mark is a game uh, does not have a well reputation. Um, uh, Pat Country did a review on it, real, a brief review on it, and it's a game I also want to tell you guys stay away from. It's uh, Battle Royale. It's not a very fun wrestling game. There's, there's a lot better uh, wrestling games, especially in the 8-bit with uh, pro wrestling. No, not pro wrestling. I'm not a wrestler, guys. I don't know too much about wrestling, but uh, Battle Royale, stay away from. I don't recommend it unless you're going for a complete collection. Next up, um, I picked up Andre Panzer Kickboxing. Uh, this game has a pretty bad reputation. It's also known as Best of the Best. Um, I don't know if it's, they named it from the movie because the movie was actually kind of popular. But uh, this game, it had the bad reputation, but I thought it was pretty cool. Well, no, I'm not going to say it was great, but it, it, it was not as bad as they said it was. I didn't really know all the moves, you know, playing with just two buttons. Uh, it's kind of hard, you know, just punching and kicking and trying to figure out what the roundhouse is and the spin kick and the sweep kick. Not bad, not great, and for, I see it go for like 10 to 15 bucks a lot, so it is worth the price in my opinion, you know. Next uh, is a game that I felt is so underrated and I also see it so cheap for going 10 to 15 bucks as well. Uh, if you can get it cheap, go for it, it's a uh, time ball. Uh, I'm not very good at it right now. I only played it for about maybe 30 minutes, but once I started figuring it out and got it going, moving the ball, you had a, it's like a maze of moving a, a, a ball around, and they give you different uh, courses and stuff, and you have to flip the, the screen around to, to put the track together as the ball's moving. It's really fun, man. It was one of those games that makes you think and stuff like that. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't want to say it's a Tetris type, but it, it is a game that you have to put your mind together seeing what the next piece is going to be as the ball is moving. So you got to think fast. You know, you can slow the ball down a little bit, but as you get higher, the ball starts picking up a pace and you want to get it moving, you know. So it's a game I definitely recommend, Time Ball. Dragon Spirit. Uh, not much I can say about this because it has a well reputation. Turbos is awesome. I, I remember playing this one in the arcades and I did prefer the arcade, but this is a great port of uh, Dragon Spirit. I don't want to get into a review because this reputation, I'm not going to, I don't need to say anything, Dragon Spirit. Then we have a game that I really enjoyed. It's a military based game. Uh, well, not going to say really military, but it, it was fun. Uh, Gumbo. I haven't heard nothing about this game until I started playing it and it's a game I would definitely like to see Chris Bucci review. It's, uh, I liked it. I didn't think it was as fun as Military Madness, but it, it was fun and exciting. You know, I guess it kind of had like a jackal feel to it, but more of a, on a boat. Pretty cool. D different different perspective of playing it. The Shoot 'em Up says, you know, the Turbo Graphics is very popular for. Uh, this one wasn't as fun as Blazing Lasers to me, but it definitely is a really fun and it's, we're talking about R-Type. Uh, I know the PC Engine has two versions of it, but this is, I think, one and two uh, from the PC Engine version, so this is basically, my opinion, the best way to get the game, unless the PC Engine does have a version that has both versions on it together. So, uh, R-Type. Next was a game I, I got for half off of what I see on retail price, but the guy told me it was complete. The only thing is, he kind of tricked me. It says Bonk's Adventure on the spine, and it has a picture of Bonk on the back. But it's not Bonk's Adventure, but it did have the manual. But as I did some more research, it is one of the games that uh, didn't have a, uh, a jewel case with it on release. It's one of the last 25 games, and we're talking about Hit the Ice, which is like a hockey version of Arch Rivals. And it's actually pretty cool. After a while, it kind of got stale, but I did like it. I definitely, I do recommend Hit the Ice. I know there's a Genesis port and a Game Boy port, but uh, I never played those ports. But from what I saw on YouTube, this was the best looking version of it. So I definitely recommend this one on Turbo Graphics. Um, next up is a game you guys don't need me to talk about. It's on every console. It's a classic. I'm not good at it. I know it has a great reputation, and I'm not good at it because I had never really played it until just now. And when we're talking about Bomberman, uh, once I get, I know I want to get good at this game, so I will play it a lot more. But uh, definitely check out Bomberman on Turbo Graphics. 
Now, this is a game that I didn't get a great deal on it, but I did get a, somewhat of a deal. I couldn't pass it up, uh, and, the, and the condition of the game was very awesome, and we're talking about Kadash. Uh, I, I was told the Sega Genesis version of Kadash uh, doesn't have all the characters that the TurboGrafx-16 version had, so I definitely recommend getting this. And yes, inside the manual, uh, like TurboView, aka Chris Bucci stated, uh, the game does say Bill and Ted in there as the, the person's character was selected. I thought that was kind of hilarious, so Kadash, guys, check it out. Great, awesome game. The next game is a game I've really, really been playing a lot of. I'm getting really good at it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm a big Bubble Bobble fan on the NES, so I definitely was excited to finally get this. Uh, this one, I had a uh, bargain with the guy a little bit. He kind of gave me a package deal with it with the next game I'm going to show. And uh, it was definitely worth it. It wasn't a stiller deal, but the condition is just, man, the, the jewel case has no scratches, no fingerprints. The game itself was flawless. It's just an amazing condition. He took really good care of his stuff. I think he's the original owner, in my opinion. We're talking about Paracel Stars, uh, the story of Bubble Bobble 3. Uh, I'm getting really good at this game, guys. I'm really getting good. It's really fun. I, I know it's kind of kiddish, and a lot of people say Bubble Bobble, you know, uh, Two wasn't as good as the first one. I actually think this is better than the second one. Of course, I'm not going to compare it to the classic. I'm not going to do that to the originators, but uh, it's definitely a great, great, great game on the Turbo Graphics 16. Okay, ne uh, next up is a game I've been dying to get my hands on. This is like the game I've been wanting to get to. It's probably one of the top three games I've wanted to get on Turbo Graphics because of all the hype on it. And I finally got to play it, and we're talking about Arizona. No, I'm not going for Ryan's. Uh, world record on it I just don't have that kind of time and to get that kind of practice in but I definitely did enjoy it was it worth all the hype maybe it, it is because you know people have always praised this game I'm not crazy about it maybe because I'm not as good at it yet and maybe because I'm playing it 30 years later or well not 30 but 25 years later but it's definitely something uh, Worth checking out, Arizona. It, it is really awesome. Uh, I'm starting to learn when to use the power ups, which power ups to pick up, and how to, you know, I'm getting better at it, guys. I'm just not awesome at it yet, you know, to compete as a, a world record type person or anything like that. And last but not least, I, this is a game I just cannot pass up, man. The condition of the game it, it is flawless. It just didn't come with the. Um, with the with the uh, manual, so I had to suck it up, for, especially for the price I got it for. And it was one of those games that uh, the guy posted on eBay. Surprisingly, I just happened to be up one night at 2:30 in the morning, and I saw it just went up. And the price he had it for was like 30 bucks, and I see it go for a lot more than that. And we're talking about Ghost Manor. Uh, it's a game I've really wanted and been dying to play. Uh, the only thing is, I'm, I know y'all probably getting tired of me saying this, but. I suck at it right now. You know, I barely played it. I only played it on my Express. I haven't played it on my Turbo or the console. I'll get into that a little bit later on the next, my very next video, which will be episode 4.5. But uh, yeah, I finally got Ghost Manor. Check it out. I've been enjoying it. I like the music on it so far. It's a really cool game. And uh, I believe that puts me at 58 games now. So I'm way over the halfway mark and I'm down to 36 more games for a complete Turbo game. There's about 10 of them, I think, that are accessible to me pretty easy to get within that $20 and under range maybe 25 and under range which is going to be really cool but then the, the last 20 the 25 26 games it's going to be tough I already know it's going to be tough man these games are expensive uh, some of them I see in a $40 range I see them on eBay and uh, some of those uh, was it Lukey games as a ripoff site uh, but I, I kind of use it to see what retail is going for um, so it, it, it is um, something that I do think is possible. There's going to be about 10 of them that woo, it's going to be tough to bite on. But we'll see, guys. I'm getting closer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned. I, I have my 4.5 episode coming up, which will be on my PC engine. And guys, make sure you subscribe to Jay Hicks and check his uh, channel out. It's very awesome. And uh, stay tuned. More multi-tap stuff coming. Uh, they're announcing which multi-tap members are going to SGC, so you want to keep an eye on that. And uh, I have more film reviews coming. Uh, definitely, I'm really busy with Jasper Project, so y'all just stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm out.